let's roll the film because we're going to be talking all about projectors today. Hello and welcome to the Human Design Energy Type series. We're going to be diving deep into projectors today as one of the five human design energy or aura type. Projectors make up about 20% of the population and they are actually the newest human design energy type to inhabit the planet. They developed or started to come onto earth in the late 1700s. Being the newest energy type, sometimes living in a world that was not designed for them, they can feel very out of place and sometimes can feel very unwanted and trying to fit into shoes that just aren't meant to fit them. But projectors are meant to hold tremendous wisdom and to guide the collective. That's why they were brought here. They are meant to be leaders and visionaries to help others bring more joy, guide them into creating more efficient lives and systems and clarity so that they can live with more pleasure and purpose in their lives. And so to take on this visionary leadership role, it's really important for us to understand the way a projector's energy is created and the way the aura works. So let's bring up my little body graph here. So a projector is someone who does not have their sacral center defined and that would be here. So this center on a projector would be white and this is their sacral center, meaning that they are a non-energy being. They do not produce their own energy. Instead, they gain energy from the people around them and the environment that they are in. And to also be a projector, they can't have a motor, which would be the root, the sacral, the ego, heart, or will center, it goes by all three names, or the emotional solar plexus connected in any way, shape, or form to the throat center. Because if that were true, then the energy type would actually be a manifester. So a projector is somebody with no safe defined, so it's white, and it doesn't have a motor, one of these four centers here, connected to the throat center. So that's the technical energy of a projector. And now let's talk a little bit about the aura. So the aura of a projector, even though it surrounds them just like any other person's aura would surround them, it actually is cone shaped coming off of this center right here, the G center. The G center is our magnetic monopole and it is such a powerful and magnetic center. You can learn more about the G center in my G center video. However, the cone of a projector's aura comes off of this center and this is what makes the projector's aura so powerful and penetrating. What this cone can do is that it actually can penetrate other people's auras and this is what gives projectors the ability to see other people so clearly. It gives them the ability to see how people's lives can be more efficient, how to guide them towards their purpose, how to support them and help them get tasks done. And this goes for systems and organizations as well. It's not just a one-on-one -on -one situation. However, the most important thing to remember here is that there is a caveat with this penetrating auras. And we need to remember this. It's very similar to other things that we say. We don't want to penetrate without permission. Remember that. So this is where the projector's strategy comes in. The projector's strategy is to wait for the invitation because if a projector is penetrating somebody's aura who does not want their guidance, who does not want their advice or support or sight to see them in such a real, potent, and vulnerable way, 
this is not going to be an energetic match, let's say, for either side. The other person is going to feel very vulnerable and maybe even feel their not self-theme, frustration, anger, or disappointment in the projector. And then the projector is going to feel bitter because they're going to say, well, why don't you want my advice? I can do this for you. I can help you. I see what you need to do to have your dreams come true. Why aren't you listening to me? And they can feel a little bit more resentful. So the strategy is to wait for an invitation. So this means that When somebody sees the projector and sees how much knowledge and wisdom that this person holds and how they can help them towards their goals, towards their dreams, towards their purpose, they will then ask the projector to help them. And then the projector will use their authority, whatever it may be, to then decide whether or not to make this energetic exchange because not all invitations are good invitations for the projector. And the projector gets to decide what is a good invitation for them and what is not. The projector is the one that gets to be in the power here of who gets to have access to their energy, to their sight, to their wisdom. And this is where projectors can get tricked up sometimes. They feel that they just can sit back and wait for invitations. And when no invitations come, they get bitter, they get resentful. They start feeling very down on themselves. And guess what? Bitterness is an internal thing too. Where, well, why even bother? No one sees me anyway. Nobody values my insight. So why even bother? Or they might go above and beyond and push, push, push and try to get invitations by saying, no matter what, I'm going to make this happen and I'm going to make this energetic exchange happen. And both of those will cause that not self theme of bitterness. But The power in the projector is, again, waiting for that invitation. And then you, as the projector, get to decide if it is an aligned invitation for you. Now, you don't have to wait for an invitation on eating or going out to drinks with friends or going to the food store or the coffee shop. This is more for the deeper invitations, the more intimate invitations, like client work or offer creations or romantic relationships or deeper friendships, right? We're not waiting for the invitation for every single little thing. And since you're not waiting for the invitation on every single little thing, you get to focus your energy in the in-between time on building and studying things things that fascinate you. This is the projector's way of building up their repertoire. This is the projector's way of getting people in their field to attract people who will value them and who will reach out for the invitation. Because once a projector understands who they are, the value that they intrinsically have for themselves and the power that they have within and aren't waiting for the external validation of an invitation, that's actually when the invitations will come. And once the projector enters that energetic invitation and they feel that they've helped guide the other person in that invitation in a way that has been supportive and has caused transformations and results in that person's lives, they will start to feel their signature theme of success. Now, here's the caveat with any of the energy types is that your signature theme is not just a barometer for your alignment. Your signature theme is actually something that you get to tap into any time. It does not need external validation to appear in your life. 
So for projectors, what this means is that you don't have to wait for somebody else to feel success. You get to feel success every single day of your life in the small things. You get to cultivate that feeling and it's an internal thing. And the more that you create it internally, the more you will see it externally. You can learn more about this in my Back to Basics Masterclass, which goes over the importance of this frequency and even gives you a free meditation to tap into. And finally, to wrap up this video for projectors of just the basics here, a daily practice that you can do is really coming back to the things that fascinate you, spending time in them, and then thinking, how can I share this information with others? How can I help people see the value in what this information can provide? Because when you are doing this internal work of building up your knowledge base, you're also making yourself internally Because you don't need external validation, but you're validating yourself internally as a human, as a valuable member of the collective. And you sharing your knowledge and your wisdom out there with the world will then actually attract more people to you. So if you'd love to dive deeper into the energetic frequency of projectors and the other aura types, again, I encourage you to join my free Back to Basics Masterclass, which you can get in the links below. Or if you want a complete reading of your energy and how you are meant to shine in this world, then you can always book a reading with me as well. I'm so glad that you are here and I will see you next time.